This is Nick. He isn't very keen on studying. If Nick studies a lot, he will pass his exams. If Nick passes his exams, he'll go to university. If Nick goes to university, he'll get a good job. If he gets a good job, he'll earn a lot of money. If Nick earns a lot of money, he'll buy a good car. If Nick buys a good car, he'll go to Paris on holiday. If Nick spends a lot of time in clubs, he won't pass his exams. If Nick doesn't pass his exams, he won't go to university. If Nick doesn't go to university, he won't get a good job. If Nick doesn't get a good job, he won't earn much money. If he doesn't earn much money, he won't buy a car. If he doesn't buy a car, he won't go to Paris on holiday. And what will happen if Nick doesn't make a decision? Hello. Today we will talk about the first conditional. First conditional sentences talk about the future. You use first conditional sentences to talk about the possible results of an action. Nick in the video is trying to decide whether to study or go clubbing. It's a difficult decision because he doesn't feel like studying, but studying is important. If Nick studies a lot, he will pass his exams. Pay attention to the first conditional sentence structure. Even though both parts of the sentence refer to the future, you use the present simple after if and will in the second part of the sentence. You can change the order of clauses in conditional sentences. Nick will pass his exams if he studies a lot. Remember to put a comma at the end of the if clause if the sentence starts with if. Look at some more examples from the video. If Nick earns a lot of money, he'll buy an expensive car. If Nick doesn't earn much money, he won't buy a car. And what will happen if Nick doesn't make a decision? That's all for today. 